good morning, frugal friends. This is Crazy Cheap Chick. And if you follow me, you know I'm on a quest to save money on groceries. I'm super freaked out by the rising food costs. And uh, I started about three weeks ago really trying. And last week I spent about $100 on groceries, which I wasn't super mad at myself because I had been spending about $200 a week for just two people. Um, I don't know, I, I wasn't sure where the money was going. So now I'm paying close attention. I think I'm doing a lot better, though there's always room for improvement. I've spent about $289 for the month so far um, on groceries. And uh, I, I, I missed out on the best deals this morning because I didn't sleep well last night and I didn't get to the grocery store in time to get the really cheap um, clearance items. But I did get some sale items and a, a couple of clearance items I was not dissatisfied with. And uh, I'm planning my meals around clearance items and sale items. And I think we're going to have a good dinner tonight. And I'm also going to make some homemade vanilla today. I've been putting that off, but I'm going to get it done today. So stick with me. I'm going to turn the camera around one second. So let's talk about what we found at the grocery store this morning. It wasn't a fabulous day, but it was an okay day. Uh, I got there really late because I slept in because I didn't uh, sleep well last night. But I did find this roast, and this roast was $8.31. I had to take that tag off and move it down so you could see that the price was originally $22.21. And then I found this Pioneer Woman, um, it's like a steak seasoning for $1.50. And I normally buy steak seasoning at um, Aldi's for 97 cents, but at $1.50, this ends up being cheaper because this is um, more ounces. It's 6.3 ounces, and I think the other was only 3.4, so kind of a wash. I'll go ahead and try that. And then this, Cream cheese is on sale this week for $1.49. And cream cheese has a really long Best Buy date. So I should be able to use three packages of that within the next month or next couple of months. The cheese is also on sale and the sale ends tomorrow um, for $1.47 a package. I rarely see it cheaper than that. So I went ahead and got five packages. I went ahead and got a package of my favorite bread, which is normally $3.99, and it's on sale this week for $1.99. Paid full price for some bananas, because we hadn't had any bananas in a while. And I got one package of this rosemary and olive oil bread for $1.99. So, how much did I save? I have been taking my, um, oh, I got one other thing. I got these, tulip blooms, <laughs> these bolts. They were originally $14.99, I think. And they had marked them down to $2.99. And so I went up to the florist and I said, hey, these are looking a little rough. Would um, they mark them down to a dollar? And she said, yes. The problem was when I checked out, it rang up for $14.99. So I had to go to the customer service center and um, get a refund. But um, if you take what I paid, which I have subtracted off the flowers that rang up incorrectly, I spent $34.92 with tax today. But I went through and checked to see what I would have paid if I had paid the normal retail price on all, all this food. And it would have been $94.12 with tax. So though they say I saved 22% today with savings, I actually saved 63%. And that's why I think the strategy of buying things on clearance and on sale works better than just shopping at Aldi or Walmart, which is difficult for me anyway, because I don't live super close to an Aldi. I'm like 20 minutes away from an Aldi. Um, and Walmart, I'm just not real impressed with their fruits and vegetables and they never mark them down. So anyway, the actual amount I spent today was $34.92 with tax, but it would have been $94.12 had I 
um, paid the full price for every single thing that I bought today. I don't think that's too bad. Oh, and one other thing that I got was this um, bag of green peppers. Green peppers are normally 79 cents each. When they're in these mesh bags, it's a um, dollar for the bag, so that ended up being about 33 cents a green pepper. I couldn't see anything wrong with them. I don't, I don't know why they, I don't know their reasoning on um, putting things on the clearance rack sometimes. So let's talk about our cheap dinner tonight. I got this fettuccine off the um, closeout for $2.24. So we're going to have this and we're going to have some of this delicious rosemary and olive oil bread and it was $1.99. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some tomatoes and some broccoli that I had gotten in those trays for like 75 cents because I just need to use them up. And then this is cauliflower. I am gonna make this most delicious Alfredo sauce. It's made out of cauliflower. You would not know it. You don't taste the cauliflower. It's just as creamy as Alfredo sauce. I think it's better than traditional Alfredo sauce. And it's super easy to make. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to trick your family into eating some cauliflower. Now this meal, I mean, cause this is gonna take a little bit of cream and butter um, and nutritional yeast when I make this and cheese. So I, including that, this whole meal is gonna come in at about $6.25. And so it's easily, four servings. So about, you know, a dollar, what is that? Dollar fifty-five, a dollar sixty per person. That's not too bad. If you can feed your entire family a healthy meal like this for six dollars and twenty-five cents, I don't think it gets much better than that. We'll have we'll have some of this tonight and then we'll eat leftovers tomorrow for lunch. But it's healthy, it's quick, it's easy, and it's cheap. And also I went ahead and did the math on this. Um, this is 97 cents at Aldi's for 3.4 ounces. This fancy re-drummond, the Pioneer Woman um, grill seasoning, which probably made in the same factory, even they look exactly the same. <laughs> this was originally 4.99, marked down um, on clearance to $1.50. But since there's 6.3 ounces in this, this worked out to um, 24 cents an ounce, I think. And this was about 28 cents an ounce. So this ends up being cheaper. I mean, you end up saving about a quarter um, by buying this instead of this. So you kind of have to know your prices. Then I wanted to talk about how I did last week. Last week was my third week of my self-imposed grocery challenge. Um, now this includes taxes. I live in a state that um, charges 9.1% sales tax on food. So the first week I spent 88.72 with sales tax. The second week I spent 120.99 with sales tax. Last week I was $100.22 with sales tax. Um, if you take seven days times three, that's 21. So one person eats 21 meals a week times two of us, 42 meals. So 42 meals, last week I averaged 239 a meal. But in full disclosure, breakfast is coffee for me. I, I'm, not a big co I'm not a big breakfast person. And when my husband eats breakfast, it's usually instant oatmeal. Um, the week before, it was about two eighty-eight a meal per person, and the week before that, it was a dollar sixty-three per meal per person. Um, you know what? You could eat cheaper than this. If I absolutely had to, I could get it down to, you know, thirty dollars a week probably. But we would not be eating things that we liked, and we wouldn't be. 
um, have a, a, ver a wide variety of food. We'd have to eat a lot of the same things. And I haven't found that to be very sustainable. I mean, uh, food is kind of our entertainment. Um, it's our comfort. And so um, I, I want to be able to feed myself and my husband food we like, but to keep it down as much as I can. And to be honest, because um, so far this month I've spent $289.93 um, on groceries through the 18th. I'm, I'm not, I'm just not unhappy with that because I had been spending close to $200 a week. And so I'm, I'm really getting it down. And I think my strategy of um, planning meals around sale items and clearance items and stocking up on those sale items is starting to pay off, but it'll probably take another couple of months um, of really, until I have everything um, in my pantry and refrigerator clearance and sale items. So today we are gonna make some homemade vanilla. It's super easy. And all you need is some little jars. I got these jars at Hobby Lobby for a dollar each. And this is an old dressing jar that I'm gonna use. And all it takes is vanilla beans and vodka. Now, this is some vodka that I bought quite some time ago when the Kansas City Chiefs won. I guess it was some kind of commemorative vodka made in Wesson. Missouri, Weston, Missouri. And so we're going to use this vodka and vanilla beans to make not imitation vanilla, but real vanilla. And the, it's like night and day, night and day between imitation vanilla and real vanilla. So at first, when I, I went to like a a natural grocers and I got these two beans and they were 12 bucks. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Um, but I bought them. And so then I decided I needed to find some less expensive vanilla beans. And so I found these vanilla beans on Amazon 10 for $10. So now we're going to cut these in half and put them in the jars. Yeah, now go ahead and put two or three in each jar. That one might be too long. We may have to cut it a little more. So try to find ones that will fit in the jar, okay? Okay. Okay, so we split those vanilla beans open so all that vanilla goodness would be able to seep out. And I think you're getting too many in that jar. Maybe put some in the other jars. That's a lot. So now Lucas has put all of the vanilla beans in the jars and next we are going to pour that vodka in. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of yourself? Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Dump it in here. Yes, now we're going to put the vodka in there. Can you hold each jar while I pour? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right, you hold the jar. Pour it in. I'll try not to get on you. Did I get on you that time? Yep. Well, what are we going to tell mommy why you smell like vodka? Because I feel like. Ah. All right, next one. Oh, okay, so now we've got our vanilla beans and the vodka. And you know how long it takes to make vanilla? Yeah. Six months. Takes about six months. So if you wanted to give this as a gift later this year, you, you would need to make it right now. Don't you think okay. these will make nice little gifts though? Okay. I want to bring them all and put them in my And home. do you remember where, where vanilla beans come from? No. Orchids. They are the only fruit of the orchid flower. All right, so now we just got to set those in a dark place and you might want to stir them up every now and then. See, that one's already starting to get a little bit brown, but each month they'll get a little bit browner and a little bit darker and we will have some great tasting vanilla 
way better than imitation vanilla. Now, the vanilla beans cost $10, and the vodka, I don't remember what that cost, but it's still a pretty inexpensive gift to give. But if you make them right now, they'll be ready by fall. So I think it's going to be a pretty good gift to give your mommy. Yeah. So while the linguine is cooking, I'm going to start on this cauliflower Alfredo sauce. And I'm draining the cauliflower. But the real important step is to press all the liquid that you can out of this cauliflower. Okay, I added about a teaspoon of um, minced garlic, half a stick of butter, four ounces of cream cheese, and I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in here. I just shake it in, I don't measure it. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper also. I'm just gonna blend it. Now that right there is pretty tasty, but to make it even tastier, I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. I didn't measure, it's probably about four ounces or so. And blend it again. And I added just a slight bit more um, cheese and salt and pepper. The linguine is cooked, the alfredo sauce is made, and let me tell you, that is really, really good. Bread is baked, reserved just a little bit of mozzarella to put on top, and I went ahead and added some uh, of that 99 cent sausage that I got the other day. So, some blistered tomatoes and some broccoli to go with this. I think we have the makings of a pretty good meal. I thought it was going to be around 650, but since I added the... Um, Sausage had ended up around 750. And there's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty yummy. And that Alfredo sauce has no cream, though it does have cream cheese and butter. Well, frugal friends, we made it through another day. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit tired. Um, I wanted to show you. The vanilla is coming along well. It's only been in that jar a couple hours. It's already starting to turn brown. So after three to six months, this is gonna taste great. And it's such a cheap, easy, nice gift to give to people. Um, that's really all I have for today. Just stay positive and do the best you can. That's all any of us can expect is just to do the best we can. And uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thank you.